Welcome back for the second episode of Oshinoko. In this episode, we got two new names, but for schools. The name Megurogawa of the middle school where Ruby went is written as I, Black and River. And it's the name of a real river in the south part of Tokyo in the Meguro city ward. And the high school that the twins are going to be going to is Yoto, Sunshine and East. During this episode, in the scene with Salina point of view, she used the abbreviation Doluota, and that comes from I Dolu Otaku. I don't know that could. I just wanted to quickly mention that in Japanese, there's the exact same expression as in English of two birds with one stone. Iseki nicho. This is something that probably a lot of people doesn't really think about, but I always find it interesting when two different languages that evolve with different culture has the exact same expressions. In this case, it was used by Ruby when talking about passing exams and becoming an idol. When Miyako is talking about the harsh reality of the idol industry, she used the expression tonton byoshi to say that things don't go that smoothly. The Japanese term comes from the sound of two taps, tonton, and the word for a tempo, yoshi to convey the image of a smooth tempo. One Japanese expression to express repeating someone's mistakes that Aqua used when talking about Ruby treading in ice steps is Etsuo Fumu. The literal meaning is of stepping in the wheel tracks of a previous cart. When Aqua is talking about the various type of underground idol groups and that some are good and some are bad, he used an interesting expression, well, in my opinion, of Pinkara Kirimade, basically talking about a range from Pin to Kiri. Pin is coming from the Portuguese Pinta for a dot, and Kiri is from the Portuguese Cruz, a cross. The dot became a symbol for one, and the cross for ten, with the Japanese word being Jujika, and using the kanji for ten, that looks like a cross. The expression then became something used to talk about the range from the best to the worst. Another expression that had an origin that I found interesting was Zala Nyaru. It was said by Miyako when talking about the various bad rumors coming from some underground group that are quite common. In the Edo period, there was three types of currency, gold, silver, and coins from non-precious materials. And the common people were pretty much just getting access to the normal coins. And from that currency, the cheapest one was the one mon coin, Ichimon Sen, and was commonly referred to as Zara. So the expression Zara Nyalu, having some Zara, comes from the meaning of it's obvious that everybody has some one man coin to it's common usual. When Aqua is explaining to the director that he doesn't want Ruby to perform with some groom from Lord knows where, the original Japanese expression was Umano Hone to talk about a person of doubtful origin. The literal sense of it is of horse bones. It's coming from an expression that was used to talk about something useless. Ichi ni keiroku, ni ni mahone. Chicken rims for one, horse bones for two. Chicken rims were seen as too small to be useful and horse bones were not only too big, but were also difficult to dispose. From that, horse bones were associated with someone that's not needed and is useless to anyone. And nowadays, it mostly have the meaning of an adult that you don't really know how they grew up or what they do as a living. 
That's all I had for this episode, and you know what to do. Like this video to let me know if you want me to continue this series. Comment about the thing that you found the most interesting or surprising. And of course, subscribe if you want to have more chance seeing when I upload more stuff.